Hello friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Rachel and I am making these fun little wands, these like starburst wands. I made them last Christmas and I absolutely loved them and so I'm making them again. I don't know if I've made these, oh yeah, I think I made some Disney ones earlier this year if I'm not mistaken. Maybe that was last year, I can't remember now. Um, but it's been a while. What I'm saying is it's been a while <laughs> since I have... Um, made these and they're so cute and so easy so we're gonna put them together today I just have this little starburst die I do not remember where I got it from so I apologize for that excuse me um it comes with these four different sizes here and I'm gonna layer them up and I'm going to use some foam tape like foam adhesive to um adhere them all together because it looks in my opinion much better when it is up when each layer is up on foam and it kind of looks like it already has sewing so that's nice that I don't have to bother with sewing it has a little bit of a texture in the um in the dye already which is nice I am using some papers from Simple Stories mix and mingle and um that's what I'm using today for um my project I'm using well I shouldn't say it's, well, yeah, it's, okay, I brought, th these are the things I brought out. I brought out the Simple Stories Mix and a Mingle and Baking Spirits Bright sticker sheets, and then two, and then from each of those, the journaling pieces as well. I just did the rest off camera because I felt like it would probably be a little bit boring if I did that the whole time. Um, but that's what I'm working with today, and then I just got some uh, ribbon from Dollar Tree, and then I have... Um, straws in my stash that I just have and keep a little stash of straws and buy them or give them as gifts or whatever for different crafts. So I'm going to use some labels here, which is kind of sad because I use labels a lot in my December daily. So I was like, do I really want to use them now? But it's okay. I have tons of labels. If you've seen my other videos, I have like 15 or 16 of Emra packs for Christmas. And for me personally, that is way too many. So I was like, whatever, it's fine. I need to use things up anyway. So let's just use, use things up. So I'm um, going to use that little circular uh, label. And then I put that ornament up on foam. And then I'm going to, if I'm not mistaken, get a word sentiment from this, um, sticker sheet and uh, I'm going to use a little bit of thread as well and some foam tape, some gold thread and um, that again gives it another texture which is fun and uh, adds a little bit of gold in there. So there we go and I'm going to add some heart enamel dots as well and I am just, I know I say this in every video but I'm so close to using up so many things. I'm on the verge so I feel like when December Daily comes around I will just have used up so many things. I'm so excited for that. I don't know why I get so excited about using things up but um, like I said before I get so overwhelmed with an abundance of supplies um, and so this is, this is a uh, it's kind of nice to see things dwindle down, less choices, less variety, which probably sounds silly because I know most people probably like lots of choices, but to me, the less choices, the better. Because I know I love everything. I love everything in my stash, so I know I, I'm not. I, there's not something in there that I don't like. I, I love everything. There's just too many good things. Um, anyway, with this one, I am again using a label, kind of using the same formula in a sense, and then using that circular embellishment. Going to add some gold thread and some hearts here as well. And then I go ahead and grab another one of those sentiments and put it up on foam again. So kind of like sim very similar formulas, yet they all look very different. So I think that is a lot of fun. Um, I will put the link down below for Scrapbook Nerd if you want to check out these products and um, I just have so much fun with these. I think these would look great on top of presents or even in gift bags or um, uh, in sending in happy mail as like embellishments that the, the re recipient can reuse or just to make packaging look cute or whatever it might be. So for this one, I am using a another label and um, I'm going to do kind of the same formula again. There's my little word sentiment and I'm going to tuck that little 
um, ornament under there to just add another little something else. And I'm uh, going to tuck some gold thread under there, thread under there as well. And um, what else? Oh yes, and then of course the enamel dots. And these ones, I just grabbed some blue and green, kind of going with this color scheme here. And I think these are coming together so well. I love the way these turned out. So my next step is to pick out some straws. So I picked some straws out in different colors and patterns. And this is just a fun little bucket I have of different kinds of straws. Like I said, whether I receive them or buy them or whatever it is, I think there's some really cute patterns in there. And then I like to give some as well because you get a pack of like 12 or whatever it is. And then you have so many that you can gift some to other people. And 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 when I get gifted some, I, I, it really makes it a fun little mix in my container there. So I'm going to use some hot glue because I want this to stick really well. I don't want it to fall off and um, uh, I want it to dry fast as well. Um, you could like put a little piece of paper behind it to cover up the glue a little bit, but I don't know. Personally, it doesn't bother me that you can see where it's attached. I don't know. It just doesn't bother me. I'm um, just cleaning up a little bit here while my glue dries, but because it's hot glue, it dries so fast, which is so awesome. And I'm going to take some of these uh, trims and put them around my, um, my little wands. And um, like I said, these are just from Dollar Tree. And um, I accidentally made the other two um, pieces of trim a little bit too short. Like my bows progressively got smaller and smaller. The first one was probably my best one and then it just gets worse and worse, but it's fine. They look cute. They're going to look great. I'm very excited for um, to give these in a swap and I have a feeling I know who it's going to. Um, I, yeah, I think I know it's going to go to. So very excited about that. There'll be some on my YouTube channel. You'll be able to find some outgoing happy mail videos if you're looking for a little bit of inspiration for your happy mail and, uh, maybe gifting this Christmas as well. So I'm just going to tie these up and then I'm going to show you some close-ups. Yeah, you can see the bows get a little smaller as, as I went on, but that's okay. Um, so I love how these look. I'm going to link Scrapbook Nerd down below if you want to do some shopping for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!